Hello everyone. On this presentation for the degrees offered by the Civil Engineering and Built Environment Subject Group at the University of Hertfordshire. My name is Dr. Antonios Kanelopoulos and I am the Head of Civil Engineering and I will give you a detailed outline of what we offer and what you should expect when you join us. Before we start, please note that the information in this presentation was believed accurate and up-to-date at the time of delivery. We may, however, make changes from time to time to advertise courses or modules or occasionally discontinue them. For example, as a result of the way in which we continually seek to improve our academic provision and take on board feedback from students and other stakeholders or to take account of changed circumstances. For instance, we may not run an optional module if insufficient students have chosen it to make it viable or if a key member of staff who taught uh, this module is no longer available. For full details of when we might make changes and how we will try to minimize any impact on people affected by them, please check our key facts document at www.heads.ac.uk slash apply. Over the next few minutes, I will discuss the critical importance of civil engineering, what our degree has to offer, our strategic partnership with PRE. I will go through the structure of our programs, our industrial partners, and I will also talk about the facility we use to support your learning. Last but not least, I will show you some examples of hands-on learning activities that you will be performing during your time with us. Civil engineering forms the backbone of societal and financial growth. What civil engineers build and deliver help to maintain our standard of living, improve our working and commuting conditions and make our lives better. Civil engineering is not about building houses. Not that the civil engineering cannot do that, but civil engineering is about constructing big with high impact. It is about constructing major highways, about large railway schemes, bridges and airports. It is about delivering water treatment plant. Civil engineering is about providing the world the potential to move around and grow. Civil engineering is shaping our built environment as we call it. Of course, besides the functionality of a bridge or a tunnel, for example, civil engineers can deliver iconic structures. A view of the London's skyline and how it has been transformed the last two decades is a proof of the impact civil engineering can have in shaping the urban environment. Of course, civil engineering is not only about megastructures and massive infrastructure projects. It is also about reshaping our environment, providing solutions for local communities. Civil engineers may well be involved in land remediation projects like the one shown on this slide. A heavily contaminated land in the north of England, which was remediated with the help of civil engineers and was given back clean to the local council, a site that later became the location for new housing developments. Civil engineering is also about delivering one of the most precious, if not the most precious, of commodities, water. Hundreds of dams and water treatment and water delivery facilities and infrastructures deliver water to billions of homes every day. We take it for granted by opening our taps at home, but the infrastructure behind the water delivery is colossal and civil engineers have the biggest role in this operation. Looking into the future, I'm not sure if in the near future we will have space like dome structures and flying cars, 
but there is no doubt that civil engineering has a key role to play in shaping the future built environment. A future built environment which may not have floating motorways, but it will be characterized by smart infrastructure. The near future will have buildings and structures that will be adaptive to surrounding changes, responsive to their environment, connected between them and their users, and sustainable. The future built environment will not only be technologically advanced, but will also focus on preserving our natural habitat and our natural resources. All of these components of the future built environment are well embedded in our teaching philosophy and our modules here at the University of Hertfordshire. A future built environment which may not have floating motorways, but it will be characterized by smart infrastructure. The near future will have buildings and structures that will be adaptive to surrounding changes, responsive to their environments, connected between them and their users, and sustainable. The future built environment will not only be technologically advanced, but will also focus on preserving our natural habitat and our natural resources. All of these components of the future built environment are well embedded into our teaching philosophy and our modules here at the University of Hertfordshire. Our civil engineering program of studies is a new program which was launched in September 2017. The program was developed in close collaboration with a number of nationally and internationally renowned industrial partners. Companies such as Arab, Mott McDonald, Skanska, Mays and the others are multinational giants with strong presence in the UK as well. In addition, the program was developed in close consultation with professional bodies such as the Institution of Civil Engineers and the Institution of Structural Engineers. We had this extensive consultation at the development stages in order to ensure that what we offer reflects precisely what both the professional bodies and the industry wants from the future civil engineering graduate. Through this consultation, we captured the skills and the competencies that employers want and we embedded them into a modern, vibrant program of studies. A key contributor in our programs is BRE, the formerly known as Building Research Establishment. BRE is a world-leading building research organization. It is located nearby at Gaston Watford, only seven miles from our main campus, and has an array of fantastic facilities, which as students at the University of Hertfordshire, you will be accessing and benefit from right from the start of your learning journey with us. For example, BRE has the largest fire testing facility in Europe and one of the largest in the world. It also has a monumental timber library with samples from every timber type that exists in the world. A library that you will be visiting as first year students as part of one of your modules. BRE influences national and international standards and employs a significant number of world leading experts, many of which actively contribute in a number of modules throughout all years of study at UH. The way our programs are structured is like a game of connecting the dots, which I'm sure you all have played at some point in your lives. We start with some what initially looks like a set of unconnected and randomly distributed set of dots, which with the progress of time they connect together making sense and revealing the bigger picture. We offer the program as both BNG and MNG uh, with a, a, a sandwich option. That means uh, students at the end of uh, year two, they have the option of going for a year uh, placement in industry. We 
promote this uh, option and we uh, highly recommend this option and students are being assisted in the uh, in, in looking for, uh, for for a position in the industry if they wish to. Uh, every academic year consists of two semesters. Semester A initially starts uh, end of September up until um, uh, December January time, and semester B, which starts at the end of is at the end of uh, January and uh, finishes by uh, end of April typically. Uh, the program has a variety of modules. We start from semester A, year one, uh, building on the fundamentals and as the levels uh, increase and the years proceed, we go to more specific uh, hardcore civil engineering modules and this process uh, uh, intensifies as we move from semester A to semester B from year one and from uh, year two, again, semester A, semester B, the modules become uh, more and more uh, specific. So at the end of year three, uh, uh, students have the option to graduate with a BN, uh, should they wish. Uh, and if they meet the requirements to continue for an MN, uh, they can uh, opt in for the MN option and take another fourth year and graduate at the end of the fourth year with an MN uh, degree in civil engineering. As uh, uh, civil engineering students uh, with us, you will have uh, the opportunity to use a, to use a wide uh, variety of facilities, both at uh, University of Hertfordshire and at uh, BRE. At uh, our main campus, the College Lane campus at UH, uh, you will be using a number of uh, main uh, lecture uh, theatres and uh, different study locations and study rooms. Uh, we have a variety of testing facilities, uh, materials, uh, properties testing, geotechnics, computer aided design workshops, uh, fluid mechanics and hydraulic tests, light structures, cement based and bitumen materials research facilities, surveying and highways, uh, smart systems. A wide variety really to assist you uh, through your uh, learning journey uh, from year one. Uh, up to your uh, uh, graduation, whether you are following BNG or MNG. As mentioned before, uh, BRE, our strategic partners in this, um, has a fantastic array of facilities. You will be visiting these facilities once per year for a teaching week to perform selected learning activities, which will vary from um, bulk or state-of-the-art testing that can be done only at BRE to uh, attendance of uh, specialized seminars and lectures by world-leading experts. Your learning experience uh, with us will be uh, quite um, rich and it will be uh, it, it will have a mix of a uh, traditional type uh, of delivery, uh, like the traditional type of lecture uh, and tutorials and practicals, but you will be exposed to online, online learning uh, activities through our virtual learning environment. Uh, we have embedded in our course, as I will explain in a few slides later, a lot of uh, problem-based learning case studies to enrich your learning experience and your understanding of uh, the subject area. Uh, we have introduced uh, industry mentoring, so uh, mentors from the industry uh, come and provide uh, specialized support and mentoring to um, uh, small groups of uh, students, giving them an insight into their working lives and projects and uh, what companies uh, expect from uh, graduate engineers. We have a large variety of industrial guest lectures that uh, deliver specialized uh, uh, talks on specific topics of interest and, of course, uh, site visit. And the next few slides will focus on some examples of uh, these uh, activities and how your learning journey uh, and learning experience is being enriched from these.
As mentioned, your learning experience with us will be rich and diverse. Besides the traditional type of teaching in classrooms, you will be exposed to a variety of hands-on learning activities, practical exercises, and experiential learning. These include in-class activities, laboratory uh, classes, design projects, and site visits. All of our students at all levels of studies have a large number of learning by doing opportunities. We are strong believers of the hands-on learning which is well embedded in our curriculum. We aim to take our students to at least two site visits per year to see from up close a live construction site of a major civil engineering project. Some examples of our visits include the bank station upgrade in London, the Northern Line extension project, which is part of the National Crossrail project, uh, the Waterloo station upgrade, the A14 upgrade, and a number of water maintenance and distribution assets. And these are only some examples of our site visits. And on the slides you can see uh, a selection of pictures from students attending uh, the site visits. Let me now talk to you about some examples of our hands-on learning activities. In your first year, first semester, as part of your Civil Engineering Materials 1 module, you will be visiting BRE for a week to perform tests on construction materials and to access the world-famous timber library. During this week, you will be involved in bulk concrete making and the principles of properly producing a concrete batch. You will be trained to assess quality at the early stages of the life of the materials, but you will also take part in mechanical testing of all of the major construction materials, that is concrete, structural steel and timber. In the subsequent years of your studies, you will be visiting BRE to perform more advanced tests, for example, tests on reinforced concrete members, welded steel members, thermal capacity of materials, air tightness of buildings, and so on. Of course, testing will also happen at the College Lane campus, and you will also, uh, where you will also be involved on a wide variety of uh, tests at UH. Another aspect of your learning experience is the in-class structural design and physical modeling in an attempt to create a better concept of the theory uh, that you're, you, you will be learning in structural design. We have recently invested in purchasing a large number of MOLA kits. MOLA is a learning tool for structures that helps students to understand how structural assemblies behave under the action of forces, a vital element for every civil engineer. It is a modular construction system that simulates real structural uh, behavior. The variety of elements and types of connections allow you to simulate and understand different kinds of structures from single elements to plane frames, space structures, and more complex systems. You will be using these kits from your introductory module on simple statics in the first year of studies up to the most advanced structural analysis modules in years three and four if you are taking the AMNs uh, route. Another example of your rich uh, learning experience with us here at the University of Hertfordshire is our research partnership uh, with Royal Academy of Engineering. In this partnership with the Royal Academy of Engineering, we have brought on board Professor Tim Askew, an eminent civil engineering professional with more than 35 years of experience in the sector. And we brought uh, Professor Askew on board to enrich our curriculum and deliver the integrated civil engineering design concepts. This includes a variety of case studies based on real, large-scale infrastructure projects from around the world. 
These case studies are embedded in modules at all levels of studies and are carefully designed to provide you with the necessary skills and competencies, exposing you to real case scenarios and problem-based learning. Professor Askew, who happens to be a UH alumnus, reads high in the hierarchy of the Atkins Group and was the person responsible for delivering many iconic projects in the Middle East. Apart from his contribution in the case studies, you can also benefit from one-to-one -one mentorship and guidance that Professor Askew uh, offers to our students. Thank you for viewing uh, this presentation and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact uh, um, us, either myself or the program leader for both BNG uh, and MNG courses, Mr. Mark Coates. Uh, we also have a Twitter handle if you are using Twitter and we can be approached uh, via Twitter. We will be very happy and delighted uh, to have you on board joining us at the Civil Engineering and British Environment here at the University of Hertfordshire in September 2020.